Welcome to our Saturday Coffee Chat. Um, today I'm excited to present, uh, Deb and I are excited to present on vitamins and we'll touch base a little bit on minerals. And um, I, I love the human body. I think it's an amazing creation. It does so much for us. And when you kind of get down into the finer details of things, whether it's you know bones or skin or um, your organs or the different systems, you know, or how cells regenerate, um, and how food who, food uh, plays a huge role in all of that. Um, I get really geeked out on it. So. <laughs> wow. And uh, and even then, just going through my own issues with like a knee injury um, and learning about you know the different parts of our body and how they serve us and how an injury can affect, you know, things and, and that whole healing process um, has been interesting. So, so I'm excited about this topic. Um, Deb, did you want to talk a little bit about the meditation first before we get um, started on that? Just the tile. Oh yeah. The meditation tile it has uh, every day they're adding new um, meditations and yoga sequences because they created this tile. It's uh, meditation and relaxation. And um, when I was, we were exploring just a few days ago, they added more because there were just three of them in there. And then they're adding more and more as they get them published. So if you check in on them, and I noticed, jo Jewel, you were checking them out. What, yeah, what did yeah. you think of them? I was surprised to find them there. Yeah. And then I was, uh, I saw they had the one on um, hypnosis, which was like, my mom did that for years with everything. So I was like, wow, they even have that here. So mm -hmm. I, I did want to hear what they had to say. It's calming. It's relaxing. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Are all that B doing it? Um, no, not all of it. Um, she was doing some of the yoga, the B, oh, the yoga. She was doing some of it, but um, no, not at all. Um, Elise from Bar Blend is doing the I Am series of meditation. And actually, we kind of thought it was more affirmations mm -hmm. than meditation, which is great because you get stuck on affirmations trying to create your own yeah those cards are always nice to give you that spur of affirmation yeah. yeah for the day and so anyways that's I really like the meditation tiles that way oh, so. I'll, I'll click into it but I noticed too if you're getting onto your Beachbody on demand on your laptop desktop they've split this back out again um, they have programs they have workouts uh, recipes is split out, bar, bar groups, and then our blog. Just a quick note, if you go into workouts, they have this, because this is they took have, this is what had gone away as well, is filtering. So if I'm looking for a workout, I've got 10 minutes, um, you know, you can put it down, you can slide this down to 10 minutes, um, and I need a beginner level, and it's going to just bring up all of those that are um, zero to 30 minutes. Uh, I don't know if you can go down to 10, but yeah, zero to 20 minutes. So it kind of like, okay, this is what I've got to choose from today. Let's do it. So I think that's cool. That's cool. Um, if you go to programs, it just brings you all the different um, individual program tiles. I like the recipe. They split it out again because that recipe search was kind of, we were talking about yeah. earlier. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yep. Perfect. Nice have that whole category and be able to search. That is awesome. Yep, looking for a snack. Here we go. Yeah. All the snacks. <laughs> cool. Um, okay, so then, it, I'm sorry, what? Oh, I didn't get time to root around it, so you did great. <laughs> yeah, me either. Like, I didn't, I didn't realize that. Um, I just thought, oh, recipes, and I'm going to go search like I always do, but good to know, because it's going to do the meal plan here. Um, okay, so if you go into the relaxation and meditation tile, because they do have more of the I am affirmation meditations, which are nice when you're in a crunch, because four minutes, we can all do that to have just a little, um, get our affirmation or meditation together. Um, but if you go in here, there's some more um, different ones from the Unplug app. So Unplug has teamed up with Beachbody uh, to create this meditation relaxation um, area. And so there's different ones here. Um, 
And if you go across, there's back to sleep. So different people from the unplug um, app. So that's cool. And then down here, of course, we've got, you know, more I am's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so yay. I'm excited about that. I think that's very helpful. Um, I know some of you like a uh, headspace is still one that is used in calm. I know somebody uses calm. I did for a while too. And I ended up paying for it. So I was like, I'm using it, <laughs> you know, and I, I did the trial and then ended up, Oh, darn it. It charged me. So, um, so I was adamant to use that. Um, okay. So let me stop share. And then I'm going to go into the vitamins presentation. And um, I, so Deb, I did this, like I was just starting to research. I thought I want to put together something because we're going to talk a lot about a lot of different things. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of hard just to talk about it. I, for me, I'm a visual learner as well. So I thought, um, let me just throw some things together. And I kept getting deeper and deeper into it. So I had like, okay, stop. Because <laughs> we can make a whole, you know, university course out of this. Um, so uh, as we're going through this, um, you know, anybody jump in with questions or information that you know about, you know, what we're talking about. All right. So let me um, share and go into presentation. Right. Uh, so can you see that? Everybody see that okay? Yes. yes. Okay. Great. Okay. So vitamins and minerals. And let's see, I also let me actually let me stop shares. Okay. That's not it. <laughs> okay, I had some notes um, on the side that I'm not sure where they're at now, but anyway, okay. We'll just go through it. Okay, so vitamins and minerals. Um, so there's, vitamins are an organic substance, meaning we get them from plants and animals, and they're essential because they're not, we don't create them in our bodies. We have to get them from a food source, from an external source, whether it's from food or a supplement, with the exception of vitamin D, which we do, our body does generate. And also there's a couple actually vitamins that we can produce from our gut and I'll, I'll point those out. Um, but generally, like if you don't have a healthy gut, you're not producing that vitamin. So, um, so there's a couple of exceptions, which I'll point out, but vitamin D um, is one that our body does create, but not in, 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 in amounts enough. So we do have to supplement that, whether it's food or a, a supplement. Um, so vitamins must come from our food for the most part. Minerals are, we're not going to go deep into minerals, but we're going to touch base on them because they go hand in hand. You always hear vitamins and minerals, but minerals are inorganic elements. They come from actually rocks, soil, and water. I love that because it's just, as our vegetables come from the earth, our vegetables and our fruit come from the earth and our, and our other foods, which you'll see like our meats and our fishes, you know, and our nuts, this all comes from the earth and so are the minerals. Um, and... I don't think a lot of people know that they actually comes from rock, soil, or water. However, you can, um, you can actually absorb them through your, what you're eating. And um, so we're going to touch base on that. Let's see. So then there are two types of each. So vitamins are divided into two different categories, water soluble, which means the body expels what it does not absorb and fat sol soluble where leftover amounts are stored in the liver and the fat tissues as reserves. This also, the two different types mean they get processed, um, absorbed, and stored differently. So whether they're water-soluble or fat-soluble. So the water-soluble sol vitamins that we're going to go over are the eight B vitamins um, and vitamin C, and then the fat-soluble vitamins are A, D, E, and K. Yeah. Um, and then there are two types of minerals as well. Um, not... 
one's not more than the other, it's just how much is in your body. So there's major and trace. Majors are not, they're not more important, but just means there's greater amounts of them in your body. Okay. And it's a fascinating what those things do for us as far as the vitamins and the minerals. There's, it's amazing. Do you have a question? No, I was thinking it's like zinc and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Iron, iron, yeah. Copper. Yeah. Um, yeah, iodine, uh, potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, calcium. Yeah. Okay, so did you know in humans with non-injured tissues, hello, got injured tissue. <laughs> the tissue is naturally regenerated, regenerated over time. Um, injured tissue gets regenerated as well. It's just slower. But by default, these tissues have new cells available to, re to replace expended cells. So also injured tissue, meaning that is just highly damaged where it's kind of lost its capability to, to really do the regeneration which is a thing, like that's how people get to that place where they're just not able to um, function. Um, for example, the body regenerates a full bone within 10 years, while non-injured skin tissue is generated within 10 weeks. So obviously the, um, the health of your, your tissue and the health of your cells is gonna play a huge role on how how fast or how well you, your body regenerates. And it's just constantly doing this. So our food is quite literally fuel for us. What we put into our body matters because of this whole recell, this cell regeneration process. Um, so I just, I had this, I had found this a long time ago because I thought this was super important because what we do feed, and yeah, it's, it's small on the screen. Um, sorry about that, but, um, what we do put into our body gets broken down and we consume it and absorb it at that cellular level. So when our body is doing this whole renewal process, it really, really does matter the quality and the, you know, type, the food that you're eating and making sure that you are nutrient, not nutrient deficient. But um, like your small intestine epithelium, which is the, you know, the whole soft tissue, the, the cell level, there is two to four days, it kind of re starts doing this regeneration pro process. Um, the stomach, your lining, and the cells in there are regenerating, two to, turnover time of two to nine days. Um, skin epidermis cells, 10 to 30 days. Your trachea, so you're, you're in your throat here, is one to two months. Um, bone osteoblasts, those are, you know, parts of your bone that help you build stronger bone, totally regenerate three to three months, um, which I know for me, that's what they say. My, my, my recovery time is going to be two to four months, they say. Um, red blood cells regenerate in four months. So this is just the point I wanted to make with this is that our bodies are constantly regenerating and our cells are getting renewed and it really matters what we are giving them to be able to do that process. So six common nutrient deficiencies. Um, iron is an essential mineral. It's a large component of red blood cells in which it actually helps coagulate, it binds um, hemoglobin and transports oxygen to our cells. So as we're going along, I want you to, I pointed out what foods you get, and this is a mineral, so we're, we're going to talk just a little bit about minerals and we're going to go a little deeper into, into vitamins, but look at the foods that are identified where these vitamins and minerals come from and take note of the ones that you're typically eating and then also note which ones you haven't been eating lately because I want to make sure that you are incorporating those into your meal plan this weekend to start getting some of those different nutrients, different vitamins and minerals. So iron comes from red meat, shellfish, sardines, seeds like pumpkin, sesame, and squash seeds, beans, broccoli, kale, spinach. You're going to see um, the dark leafy greens on a lot of these and also like red meat and sardines. But um, iodine, another mineral for normal thyroid function, and it produces, helps produce the thyroid hormone, which affects growth, brain development, bone maintenance, and it also regulates our me metabolic rate. And you get that from seaweed, fish, dairy, and eggs. Uh, vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin that functions like a steroid hormone in our body. It travels through our bloodstream and into our cells, telling them to turn genes on or off. It's a super important vitamin. Um, they all are. Almost every cell in your body has a receptor for vitamin D. It's 
It is produced from cholesterol in your skin upon exposure to sunlight. So there is good cholesterol and bad cholesterol, right? So this would be a, a cholesterol that we definitely need a sufficient amount in to help generate our vitamin D. Um, you get it from cod liver oil, salmon, sardines, trout, and egg yolks. Um, which just dawned on me, like in Alaska, we eat a lot of this, um, these oils and salmons and um, uh, boned fish, and, be, and which is great because we don't get a lot of sunlight, probably similar for you in uh, Canada, Karen. <clears throat> vitamin B12, a water-soluble vitamin. Um, it's essential for blood formation as well as brain and nerve function. Every cell in your body needs B12 to function normally, but your body is unable to produce this. So it has to come from our food or from our supplements. Um, if you're eating mostly plant-based diet, um, I know when Maury and I were strictly plant-based, we had to, every week we supplemented with B12. Um, so vegans, this is something that they do supplement. And again, these are common nutrient deficiencies in, in, um, American diet. Americans, yeah. And then I did check some um, of the stats on um, for Canadians, and it's similar. They're, they're actually, they're not as deficient <laughs> as we are in America, but um, these would also apply. So you get vitamin B12 from, from red meat, from clams, oysters, organ meat, uh, liver, uh, eggs, and milk. And then the other, the last two that are nutrient deficient are calcium, that's essential for every cell in your body. It mineralizes bones and teeth, especially during times of rapid growth. So it's obviously super important for our kids. Um, it's also very important for bone maintenance. So super important for all of us as we're getting older. And additionally, calcium serves as a signaling molecule. Without it, your heart, muscles, and nerves would not be able to function. Very important. So, you, oh, I didn't highlight this, but you get it from boned fish, dairy products, dark green vegetables like broccoli, kale, spinach, and bok choy. And then magnesium, um, it's a key, it's a mineral. So it's essential for our bone and teeth structure. It's also involved in more than 300 enzyme reactions. So our body is doing things all the time, right? And over half the US population and 40% of adult Canadians consume less than the required amount of magnesium. Um, low intake and blood levels of magnesium are associated with several conditions, including type two diabetes, metabolic syndrome, heart disease, and osteoporosis. Uh, so the main symptoms of uh, severe magnesium deficiency include abnormal heart rhythm, muscle cramps, restless leg syndrome, got that, uh, fatigue, and migraines. So more subtle long-term symptoms, and I really wanted to point this out because they all have more subtle long-term symptoms, right? Um, so what I want to also, if you think you might be deficient in one of these, Google it. Go today and just look and educate yourself because this is this is a community where we are. I want we want to empower you and we want you to be resourceful, be a figure outer. And if you feel like there's something I'm missing, then go to Google, which is you know, like the all, all information is out there, and just Google this and look at what are the long term. I feel like I'm deficient in calcium. What are the long term symptoms of this, or what are the short term, long term? I do like calcium benefits, calcium symptom, deficiency symptoms, you know, just keywords like that. Uh, more subtle long-term symptoms for magnesium uh, that you may notice include insulin resistance and high blood pressure. Uh, you can get magnesium from your whole grains, your nuts, dark chocolate, hello, dark leafy green vegetables. Um, so just to put it in perspective, whole grains, you would have one cup of oats contains about 70% of your daily value. Nuts, 20, about 20 almonds, like a 20 almond pack is 70%. Dark chocolate, one ounce or 30 grams of dark chocolate offers 15% of the daily value recommended. And then dark green leafy vegetables, like one ounce of raw spinach provides 6% of the daily value of uh, magnesium. And spinach really is like a superfood. It has, it has protein, it has calcium, um, it, it, there's several things. And you're going to see spinach a lot in our lists. Um, okay, so nutrient deficiency does not need to be common. It's possible that deficient in almost, most people are deficient in, or you could be deficient in almost every nutrient. Like today's society that eats a lot of processed and convenience food and packaged food, um, they're probably severely deficient in a few vitamins, more than six. The deficiencies listed above are far, by far some of the most common, but it varies depending on where you live, you know, and obviously what you're eating. 
children, young women, older adults, vegetarians, and vegans seem to be at the highest risk of several deficiencies. So obviously we know or are in one of these categories, right? Um, the best way to prevent deficiency is to eat balanced diet that includes whole nutrient dense foods, which is what we promote here, right? Not cutting anything out um, and just making sure it's balanced and in the correct portion um, without eliminating our treats, right? However, supplements may be necessary for those who can't attain enough from their diet alone, which we're going to talk about. I mean, just to I can't remember what my notes are because I can't see them now, but there's the macro nutrients and the micronutrients. Mm -hmm. And we get our macronutrients from proteins, carbs, and our healthy fats. Our micronutrients are, are the, the, the different vitamins and minerals and different things that you should be getting from your, uh, from your food. And like Shakeology provides like that, the, the stop gap. Like it provides that gap of not getting enough of the antioxidants of the adaptogens, which help us um, process and manage stress, internal stress better. Um, you know, our probiotics, prebiotics, and uh, digestive enzymes. Um, so those are kind of some of the micronutrients that we don't get, in, including our vitamins and our minerals. So, okay, so let's just jump into some vitamins. Any questions so far? Any comments? Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Raise your hand. <laughs> okay. So let's go over the fat soluble vitamins. Um, vitamin A, and I color coded this because it comes in, there's retinoids and carotene, and you'll hear it combined as carotenoids. Um, but they come, the two different come from different sources. Um, retinoids are from beef, liver, egg, shrimp, fish, and fortified milk. So that's, it'll tell you it's fortified because they put the vitamin into it, right? Um, carotene from sweet potatoes, carrots, pumpkins, spinach, and mangoes. And vitamin A helps form and maintain healthy eyes, teeth, bones, soft tissue, and our mucous membrane and our skin. So again, as our bodies are regenerating, the cells are regenerating, super important to have this vitamin on board. Vitamin D, also known as the sunshine vitamin, since the body makes it, you know, after being in the sun, and uh, it comes from salmon, fortified milk, cereals, and fatty fish, and it's hard to get enough vitamin D from food sources alone. Um, so I know I take a vitamin D supplement, a pill, um, just because we're in Alaska and it's hard to get enough sunshine. Um, and eat enough of the food. So, but vitamin D helps us absorb calcium and phosphorus. And this was um, one of the notes I did want to just kind of touch on. Phosphorus, this, so, and phosphorus is a mineral, but listen to what it does and why it's important. Um, manage, it manages how body stores and uses energy. It reduces muscle pain after exercise. It filters out waste in your kidneys. It's, um, promotes growth and maintain, it helps you grow, maintain, and repair tissues and cells. And it helps promote, produce DNA and RNA, which are bu our building blocks, right? So we don't have enough vitamin D, and, but we're eating uh, the foods that have phosphorus in it, it's gonna be harder for our body to absorb that and be able to use that. So, um, but don't, don't get worried, because, <laughs> If you're here, you're probably, you, I know you were doing much better than, you know, the typical person out there that is just winging it and not uh, intentional about eating different foods, you know, and getting enough of their macros and also whatever supplements are needed. Okay, so vitamin E um, is from vegetable oils. So, you know, my mom, we grew up on Wesson oil, right? <laughs> Which I think is a uh, vegetable oil. Not the best. Right, um, but you can vegetable oils uh, include avocado oil, um, olive oil. Then you also have sunflower oil. You know some different seed oils. So vitamin E, uh, vegetable oils, leafy green vegetables, whole grains, and nuts. And it acts as an antioxidant, neutralizing our unstable molecules that can damage cells. So antioxidants are super important, and one of the big things that our vitamins and minerals provide. Um, it fights against that oxidative stress. So um, antioxidants fight free radicals, which happens when we, our, our body 
incurs different stressors, whether it's inflammation, that's kind of an internal stressor, um, or external stressors that we get from our environment, from you know just being stressed with work. Our exercise is a stressor, um, a good stressor, but we still have to factor that in. You know, or cigarette smoke, being around cigarette smoke, or UV exposure, or radiation. Those all can be like external stressors, and the antioxidants go your so your molecules become unstable, and it splits off and creates this free radical cell that kind of floats around and starts creating damage. And if your antioxidants don't help to reduce those free radicals, then it creates an oxidative stress in your body that just uh, creates, it's responsible for, you know, cancer. Um, it's, they're factored into, you know, cancer and other chronic illnesses like that. So super important that we get sufficient amount of antioxidants. And, and we also help our body reduce stress just by doing our visualization and meditation. Okay, and then vitamin K, um, don't hear much about vitamin K, but it's needed to coagulate for your, your blood to coagulate, like to form a blood clot. You know, as you're, if you get injured and you wanna stop bleeding, you need some vitamin K on board, right? Um, so cabbage, eggs, milk, spinach, broccoli, kale. And if your gut is healthy, it will generate vitamin K also. Um, water soluble, the, okay, so now we're on to water soluble vitamins and we'll start with the vitamin C and then it's our B complex. So the eight B vitamins, we'll talk about those. Um, so vitamin C also is known as this ascorbic acid. It comes from citrus foods, obviously, I think that's the one we all know, but also from potatoes, broccoli, bell peppers, spinach, strawberries, apples, uh, in a small amount in apples, tomatoes, and Brussels sprouts. I wanted to throw apples in there because it wasn't on any list, <laughs> um, but it, because it's not, apples aren't very rich in vitamins and minerals at all. Um, they are great for um, fiber. They do have some vitamin C, a little bit of vitamin A, um, and then they have some polyphenols, which are some antioxidants. So our apples are good. Um, apple a day keeps the doctor away. And I think it's really to do with the fiber and the polyphenols or the antioxidants that are helping your body fight. And really all the vitamins and minerals that we're talking about are, are, are their main thing is to help us fight to stay healthy. So vitamin C is an antioxidant that may lower the risk of some cancers, including some of the mouth, esophagus, stomach, and breast. It helps the body absorb iron and maintains healthy tissue. It also helps make collagen, <clears throat> which is essential for healing and just keeping our skin nice and healthy, our skin and our teeth and our hair and our nails, all, all created from our collagen, right? Okay, and then there's eight B vitamins. Um, which their general purpose, overall purpose, is to help metabolize our macros, our protein, our carbs, our healthy fats, and they help our blood cells to stay healthy. So super important that we get sufficient B vitamins. Um, so there's thiamine, you're gonna hear thiamine or B1, comes from salmon, ham, or soy milk, brown rice, watermelon, acorn squash, and these aren't the only foods these come from, obviously. They're, these are just kind of like some ideas um, and some of the more nutrient-dense ones. Help, um, so you, again, you can Google B1 foods. It helps convert food into energy. It's needed for healthy skin, hair, muscles, and brain, and is critical, critical for nerve function. Uh, ribo riboflavin, B2 in milk, yogurt, cheese, so definitely prominent in dairy products, spinach, Almonds, whole grains, and legumes. So legumes are your beans and your lentils, uh, chickpeas. Works with other B vitamins. It's important for body growth and production of red blood cells. So, and then niacin, B3, meat, poultry, fish, fortified, and whole grains, mushrooms, and potatoes. So again, the, the word fortified, um, it just means that sometimes grains need to have this this uh, mineral or this vitamin added to it. So you'll, if you ever see that word, um, that's what that means. Helps maintain healthy skin and nerves and it's also a cholesterol lowering, lowering effects at higher doses. 
um, B5 pan pantothenic acid, chicken, whole grains, broccoli, avocados, mushrooms, peanuts. It's essential for the metabolism of food. It also plays the role in the production of hormones and um, cholesterol. Um, pyridoxine, B6. So you see that comes from meats and fish and poultry, legumes, tofu. Uh, other soy products would be like tempeh, um, bananas, watermelon. It helps form red blood cells and maintains brain function. The vitamins also plays an important role in the proteins that are part of many chemical reactions in the body. The more protein you eat, the more pyridoxine your body requires. Of course, we're, we're good at eating a, a balanced um, diet. So sometimes people, I think, think they need more protein than they do, and they just kind of go protein heavy. Or if you're on a protein heavy regimen, which could be the keto, um, so you want to make sure you got B6. Uh, biotin, uh, B7, whole grains, eggs, soybean, fish, meat, peanut seeds. Biotin can be made um, in the gut if, from the good bacteria, but you got to have, if you've got so there's good bacteria and bad bacteria, and your gut actually needs both. Um, they do certain things. But if most, in most people, it can be typical that they have um, so much bad bacteria that their good bacteria is just fighting to survive, right? They're not, it's, it's an unhealthy uh, environment for them. Um, and the more sugar and the more processed foods that we feed ourselves, that we eat, feeds the bad bacteria, which means then they, they are more, they are multiplying faster than our good bacteria. Mm -hmm. So if your micro, if your gut biome isn't healthy, balanced, then it's not going to be, you know, generating these things like it should be. Um, it's, but B7 is essential for the metabolism of proteins and carbohydrates in the production of hormones and cholesterol. And I had, um, Highlighted hormones here, and um, maybe I'll find my presentation notes at the end, but your gut does produce certain hormones, like they're produced right in the gut, and they are responsible for your feeling satiated, they're responsible for the uh, triggering that you're hungry, um, they help, they know when food is starting to come down the um, Intest or the esophagus before it even hits the stomach and the intestine, they're triggered to start that digestive process and then to make sure that you don't overeat. Um, and then also to help your stomach um, break down and absorb the food slower to help you stay fuller um, and so that your body can um, more efficiently absorb the nutrients that it needs. So super important, and it all really is dependent on having that healthy gut. I might send out a thing and just um, just an awareness thing on that. So, okay, B9 folate, folic acid. Um, so you see the list here, and the only one I want to touch on is orange juice. Or orange juice, I would make it fresh squeezed. Um, just look at the labels. We're good about reading labels, right? Making sure there's not a lot of added sugar because it really defeats our purpose of having the wonderful orange juice. Um, works with vitamins because there can be so much sugar in orange juice. And, and if you're giving, you know, for moms that are giving their kids orange juice first thing in the morning, they're like zinging off the walls because there's so much sugar in there. Um, it works with vitamin B12 to help form red blood cells. It's needed for the production of DNA, which controls our tissue growth and cell function. And then the last one is B12, um, which is one that we, we kind of need to supplement more than some of the others. It, if you're not eating sufficient amounts of meat, poultry, fish, milk, cheese, um, assist in making new cells and breaking down some fatty acids and amino acids, which protects nerve cells and encourages their normal growth. It helps make red blood cells and DNA. So fatty acids then, those are, again, are coming from like your omega-3s, like your avocados and your fish and um, certain, and nuts. So it's important with these fat soluble uh, vitamins that it's important and why we have our blues and our orange and our spoons and to eat those not all at the same time, to, to space them out through your days, to have that healthy, those healthy fats on board during our digestive process to help your body absorb the vitamins, the, the, um, the fat-soluble vitamins. 
Um, and then vitamin-like factors that aren't really mentioned is choline, which is milk, eggs, liver, salmon, and peanuts. And it helps make and release uh, neurotransmitters acetylcholine, which aids in many nerve and brain functions that plays a role in metabolizing and transporting fats. So um, this is like the serotonin, um, which helps regulate our mood, right? Okay, and so then what about Shakeology? Um, I'm not gonna read all of this, but to know that Shakeology also fortified with some added vitamins and minerals um, to make sure that you're getting sufficient amount for the day, but it also, is made up of everything superfood, right? Everything um, plant-based. Uh, it's got lots of spinach, lots of the mushrooms. It's it's all the different plants that we're not getting normally at levels that are um, they they actually do like 1,500 different quality control checks on every batch of Shakeology that they produce, whether starting from when they're harvesting it, when it gets shipped when it's received at the facility that's making the Shakeology, the process of breaking it down into the powder form. When they've finished it, they test it again, just to make sure that the nutrient density that they want, that they say is on the bag, is in the bag. So um, just know that Shakeology is that, helps you close the gap between um, the deficiency of what you're eating and, and what you need and it provides a lot of the micronutrients. So macronutrients we get from our portion control containers, our chubby mindset of eating our protein and our, our fiber-filled carbs and our healthy fats, but we also need those additional micronutrients that we're generally not getting as much of from our foods. Um, so, you know, what is a superfood? There's no exact definition. It's kind of this made-up word, really. It's just, it means that it's a food that is a nutrient powerhouse. And it really is a food that is nutrient dense, but lower in calories. Um, examples are the salmon, the kale, the goji berries, camu camu, green tea, almonds. And there's like 50 different superfoods in our Shakeology. Um, Shakeology is equivalent to eating like seven salads for only about 150 calories. So it's very nutrient dense for low calorie. And why it's really considered a snack if you're just having it alone, um, it's a meal replacement if you also are putting in the fruits and the veggies and maybe avocado or, or nut butter, right? And then you can call it a meal, meal replacement. Um, just the benefits of superfoods, again, high vitamin and mineral content are found. As if you noticed, um, it's high in antioxidants. It's usually healthy fats, like superfoods to just make up that whole array of um, the vitamins and minerals and other micronutrients that we need. So bottom line is to eat a variety of foods and drink your Shakeology every day and you're going to be um, more ensured that you're getting, you're eating a nutrient dense, you know, getting all your vitamins and all your minerals. Um, and then before, um, I'll open it up for some quick questions here, but, um, if you look at your food list, so let's just say on the green container, the top 10, as we always say, eat from the top is the most nutrient dense. You've got kale, collard green, spinach, bok choy, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, asparagus, beets, Shakeology for the power greens. And your purple containers has the berries, which are lower, you know, it's lower glycemic on the fruits, right? So the berries, pomegranate seeds, guava, star fruit, passion fruit, watermelon. Red containers, sardines, boneless, skinless chicken or turkey, um, duck breast, squab, goat, lean ground chicken, fish, cold water fish, freshwater fish, you know, a certain game meat, mm -hmm. eggs, Shakeology, yellow is the sweet potato, yams, quinoa, beans, lentils, um, and edamame. And obviously your blue containers, we, we only have good healthy fats in the blue containers, the orange and the spoons. So just to know, you know, if you're eating from the top of your food list, you are and eating a, an array, that's what that, that word cloud, I tried to make it like a rainbow looking, um, is if you're eating colors of the rainbow, you're going to get different nutrients, different vitamins, and um, that'll help you ensure that you're getting really good, um, like you're fueling your body and, and helping your body fight to stay healthy and, and providing it, what it needs for that, re, that cell regeneration process. So.
So there you go. <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, Karen, I know you're in um, the healthcare industry. What do you see? Um, do you what do you have for input there? Like, because I I operate from like just a um, just life experience and my geeking out on all things you know food and nutrition. But what do you? What would you have well, to offer there? I think that's great. That presentation was great. Mm -hmm. um, I don't disagree with anything. And um, I personally still um, supplement. I'm big on vitamin D. Mm -hmm. even, even when we get sun, the, you know, the angle of the sun up north, it's not enough. So, so I do that. And, and in my geriatrics, like I was taught it also helps you know, with um, fall prevention, it affects the, the fast twitch muscle fibers. So um, we, uh, we are a big proponent of that. And right. the other thing about calcium, um, you know, a few years ago, we used to uh, replace that all the time, but now they've realized you don't really need to replace it as much. Like if you eat a pretty healthy diet, rich in calcium, you really don't need a replacement. But if you're not, then once a day is probably enough. We used to order for people like three times a day and mm. be bad for your heart. Plus it's very constipating. Mm. So those are a couple of the things that I know. Otherwise that's all great information. Awesome. That was on my notes too that I, I want to mention too is I recommend, you know, if you haven't in a while, go and get your blood work done. Have a blood panel done so that you can see what are your levels of different things and let your doctor know. I want to see, am I, you know, what, what that you want to check to make sure that you're not nutrient deficient. So um, highly encourage that. And um, yeah. Like so, yes, Deb. When they do your blood work. Uh, I did that at Alaska Native Health, I think, last year, a year before, and I brought in my Shakeology um, mm -hmm. ingredients that I intake, and I actually was doing Datura supplement um, vitamins, which I do still, and I brought all that information in with it, and then she actually provided more vitamin D for me, and mm -hmm. yeah. magnesium combination. Um, I wasn't still getting all what I was getting. And so I still take it today because I took a blood sample last earlier this year and it's still the same. So <laughs> bring in that information because it helps them understand. Yeah, good point. Let them know here's what I'm doing. Yep, Jewel. Um, I just was at my provider this last week here in Anchorage and I took all my vitamins in and she goes, oh good, I love this. Let's go through them all. <laughs> <laughs> One main point she made is be careful where you buy them mm -hmm. if you're going to supplement things. Uh, she's not a big fan of GNC and some of the other ones. She said, just turn the label over. If there's a lot of other additives in there, mm -hmm. just, it's probably not great for you. So be mindful of that. So that, Oh, that excellent helpful. point. Excellent mm -hmm. point. Because that's part of the thing is um, why I mentioned the quality testing on your Shakeology, which is can you, you know, for any supplement, you want to know, like they can, um, there's certain levels that that product has to have for them to be able to put it on the label, but it doesn't mean that it's, you know, the good quality. Um, it can, because they put a certain food in there, like they can say, you've got camo camo in this, but the camo camo may now have been stripped down just through the whole process of having the amount of, um, of nutrients in it that it started with before they harvested it, right? So the same with, and with additives and fillers and those kinds of things are, are generally put in for reasons of marketing only and preservation of something that just to keep it on the shelf. So yeah. great point. Yeah. 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 Great. Yeah. So. I really do. And this, we, we, we um, Deb and I were talking about, what should we talk about? And of course, I talked about it all. <laughs> Sorry, Deb. <laughs> but um, we, got the, we got the idea from the monthly fix. Um, that was something Autumn, she did it in eight minutes. <laughs> she went very quickly over it. And then I geeked out and got in, you know, jumped into the web. And um, 
but you know, it's different topics like this that you're getting on your monthly fix. So you want to go and check that tile and see if you have access to that tile. There's some great information in there. Um, and other interviews, um, the Superfood Hunter, Darren Olean, she had interviewed, um, and people that she does one-on-one -on -one coaching with to they talk about what they're eating and how to adjust things. So we can be very insightful. Um, so if you go to that tile, either the monthly fix or the mindset mentorship and click in there, there's lots of great information. So just to be aware of that. You and know, uh, before I get, began this journey, I had, I'm aware that I have not eaten a lot of healthy um, that's like hummus, um, olive oil, and coconut oil, and stuff. And having those vitamins that need that to get solid, fat soluble type of vitamins mm -hmm. and keep your how important to have those healthy fats daily. Um, I wasn't aware of that at all. Uh, in fact, I wasn't aware of so much on the vitamin aspect of it. I just mm -hmm. knew that part of the balanced meal. I think that would be a great topic one time is just concentrate on healthy fats. Oh, oh yeah. And uh, yeah, because I totally wasn't, I like hummus, but it wasn't something I really go and get. <laughs> but now I'm, it's a, a daily thing or a weekly thing I get in my grocery. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that would be a good topic. A lot of people think healthy fats and they just, I hear fat. Like, I'm just, what? Yeah. Who want that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> things when we really really need them for a lot of reasons yeah yeah and if you ever have a topic that you want us to discuss more definitely let deborah i know and we will definitely do that um are we done well no it hasn't popped up um <laughs> if I missed, maybe oh i know what it is you know what I actually, probably my new plan is, my old plan is still in active and the new plan isn't going to affect until my next renewal. So we're safe. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, okay. I, I think there was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember now. So I'll share it when I post the recording. <laughs> okay. Yeah next week or I mean, we're almost going halfway in the month so it's really flying by it's amazing we're gonna be at, we're gonna be at christmas before we know it uh, oh. it's hard to see halloween stuff out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so um some of us finished a three-day refresh last week and um i would in our group, um, we're, we're doing the tracker. Make sure that you're you're sharing it on Tuesdays, and we'll have a final share at the end of the month for a three-day refresh kit. Um, as we go into the holidays, it's good to, you know, have a kit on hand um, for either after Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and just to reset and restart and refresh. So that's and so we have that healthy gut, right? That helps us with all that hormone and vitamin process and the whole re cell regeneration. So. My cat, so clingy. Okay, well, thank you, ladies, for getting on and letting me share all that. Um, that, was great. that was good. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. Bye, okay. Uh, great day, everyone. You too. Bye. Bye.